Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. And today I'm going real country on y'all. And most of my videos are old school and country. Today we're making some salmon patties. Or y'all can say salmon croquettes. But in the country we say salmon. S-A-M-O-N. Salmon. I didn't know how to say it right until I really got into the food industry and in more on a professional level. Salmon. It, I, I used to think salmon only came in the can. Growing up in South in Northeast Texas, we didn't have salmon. We had catfish, perch, crappie, bass. That's the fish I grew up eating. Not salmon, whole salmon. Only salmon I knew come in a can with some water in it. That's how I grew up. And we call it salmon. My mom and dad call it S-A-M-A-N. Now I know how to pronounce it salmon. There was actually an L on there. I didn't know it was an L on that for until I got 20 years old or so. So I'm going to show you the way my mama used to make this stuff. We see it with biscuits and syrup. Very country, very old school, but we're going to get started. Before I get started, please share, subscribe, and uh, comment on my videos, like. And remember the hashtag for 2021 is help somebody old school soul food. Okay, let's get started. First thing you're going to do, you're going to get these cans of salmon. And uh, what it is, it's going to come in a can like this. It's going to have water. You're going to take the water out. I say the water and give it to my neighbors. Cats, they pull it over their food. The cats love this. Soaked over their food. So I save it for them. My neighbor, next old neighbor, they cats love this stuff. I'm going to pour it on top of their cat food. Also, let me show you another thing here. When this salmon come out, there's some bones in it. Some little white bones in this stuff. See these little things? Make sure you pick these out. See these? See if I can get a close-up of this so y'all can see what I'm talking about here. See this? There's little bones right there in there. You want to make sure you pick through those, y'all, and get those out of there. Because uh, you don't want to bite down on them when you're eating your uh, salmon. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do is get this out the way. Now, it's a very simple recipe, y'all, I got here. Just like my mama used to make, nothing fancy. I got some small dice white onions. I'll dice them really, really small. Because I don't like to bite down on onions. Uh, now, take a fork here, y'all. I'm going to smash it up really, really good. After I put my onions in here and get it all mixed up together. And when you're smashing, kind of look to and see if any little bone that you miss. I mean, nobody's perfect. You might miss a couple or whatever. So it ain't going to hurt you, but I like to kind of look as I'm mashing through that. You can put celery in this if you want. Like y'all know, I'm not a celery fan. You can put bell peppers in this, red and green bell pepper. You can do however you like it. Make it your own. Okay, now I'm going to season this. Put my shake in there, the shake here. I know I love my Uncle Steve's old school soul food shake, y'all. And my cabinets. This stuff go on everything, y'all. Put me some cabinets in there. And I'll put me some kosher salt. Put kosher salt and white pepper in there. Y'all know that's the only seasoning I use. I don't use a lot of seasonings and stuff. I don't like to over season my food with all these different spices and stuff. You don't know what you're eating. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my couple of eggs in here. Now, I'm, I, I'm uh, doubling this recipe, y'all. So you probably require one egg in a regular recipe. I don't know how I'm gonna type it up when I do it. But this is just for binder, the egg and the breadcrumb. I'm gonna put some mayonnaise in here in a second. Let me turn my fire up over here on my stove. Okay, let me get a spoon here. We're gonna put some mayonnaise in here, some Hellman's real mayonnaise. I don't use Miracle Whip for this one. A little mayonnaise, not much. You don't have to put mayonnaise if you don't want to. I like because it gives you that, makes it creamy to me. See how easy this coming together? Like I say, this makes a lot. I double the recipe, because guess who loved this? My neighbors and my mom. So I'm making a lot. Now, I got some rich crackers here. I crushed up. I like the, uh, I like the sweetness of the rich cracker, the butter cracker. And why you the rich cracker? You can use saltine. Mama used saltine growing up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, mix that all up in there. 
Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna get us a taste. Now, if you don't like eating raw egg, don't don't uh, dog me out. I like to taste my food before I cook it in there. And the raw egg ain't gonna kill me. I never have. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit more salt and pepper. A little more salt and pepper to it. And that's it. Okay. Mix it up again here. And that's it, y'all. This stuff is ready to be fried. Tend to be fried. Okay. Now, let's move over here to my skillet. I got my skillet heating up here. Spatula, put my mayonnaise away. Egg away here. And now we're gonna... Now you can put this in here directly like this with our flour. I'm gonna show you both ways. Well, I like to put a little flour on mine. Let me see this heat up. I think I got a little scoop here that I use. You can do it like this. Let's use a little scoop here. Make a little round circle right there. See, like this. You can do it like that, or you can do it, take it, put it in there, put it in the flour. Dust the flour off. It's a little bit more messier. And you can do it like that. With, and then with the flour, I like doing it with the flour because it gives me a little bit more crispier, crispier uh, outside uh, skin or crust. So I'm going to do both ties. I'm going to do both ways just to show y'all. Y'all can do it either way. <coughs> Make sure my oil is heating up here. Okay. Oil is definitely heating up. Put in the oil here. And one more out of here without the flour. And you can do these as big and as small as you want, y'all. And they don't take long to cook at all, as you know, if you haven't made these before. There we go. The first one might be a little dark because the oil was hot, but trying to watch you all there. Turn mine back up now. Get a nice golden brown color on them. That's the key. You don't want the oil too hot and you don't want it too low either. And I'm not gonna finish these off in the oven. I'm gonna cook them all the way off here on top of the stove. Even though they already cooked, you just wanna cook the eggs off in there. That's all you wanna do. Pretty much it. See how pretty those are? That's what you want. And like I said, y'all, you can make these as big and small as you want. Here, you don't want the oil too, too low because you don't want a soggy croquette. And I'll probably flip them one more time here. Make sure they completely cooked inside. So we're going to step off here and I'm going to get to cooking them off here. 
And we'll be back when I do the last batch. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, these last three is about to come out here. Look how pretty these are, y'all. Turn them over one more time. Turn them off. This one here is ready. Got a little plate here for them. This one here is nice and golden brown. Take that one off. Move this one over. Like I say, y'all, these bring back memories, y'all. Nice cheap meal. Stretch it out. <laughs> we used to buy these for a dollar a can. Put a couple of cans, you can feed a family of, <laughs> shoot, three or four people easily with these things. Uh, we used to do macros the same way. I also got a video on macros, old school fried macros. So I'm going to put that link in the box behind the video here so y'all can check that out. So I'm going to flip these off, let them cool, and I'm going to come back in just a second, and we're going to sample these off. I got me some, uh, y'all know about this. I got me some burr rabbit syrup. Y'all know about this burr rabbit syrup. That's what I used to eat them on and still do today. So I'm going to come back a couple of minutes, let them cool off here. We're going to have some old school, uh, old school uh, fried uh, salmon. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. These are ready here. Okay, let me show you. Let me take these things. Put me a little bird rabbit syrup on mine. That's how you see it, y'all. With some biscuits. I don't have no hot biscuits right now. We had some biscuits. The thing is so flaky. Mm. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. Hey, this man eating fish and syrup. Mm. Every time we had fish, y'all, we had biscuits and syrup right there. That's where we eat fish in the country. Mm. So good, y'all. Crispy on the outside. Nice and moist on the inside. Like I said, this is the only way I grew up eating salmon and growing up. I didn't know about the whole fish salmon. Nothing like that. That's what I knew about. Also, he was ketchup. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good, y'all. I hope they bring back some memory of some of y'all growing up. But anyway, if you like this recipe, if you like this video, please comment, please share, please subscribe, please visit my other social media accounts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody Old School Soul Food. See y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.